All right, I'm totally freaking out. As usual, I'm freaking out. NASA is going to be sending the Artemis 1 mission around the moon, but right now it's in the Vehicle Assembly Building at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, and the technicians continue to prepare the Space Launch System rocket and the Orion spacecraft for this mission. It's going to be insanely cool, and I can't wait to see it. And this will be happening in late August of 2022. During work to repair the source of a hydrogen leak, engineers identified a loose fitting on the inside wall of the rocket's engine system, where the quick disconnect for the liquid hydrogen umbilical attaches. The component, called a collet, is a fist-sized ring that guides the quick disconnect during assembly operations. Teams will repair the collet by entering the engine section in parallel with other planned work for launch preparations and technicians have replaced the seals on the quick disconnect of the tail service mast umbilical and will reattach the umbilical plate once the loosed collet is addressed. NASA engineers are working very hard to figure out what they could do for the late August launch date. And I'll be there in Florida, if possible to watch the SLS launch. The engineers at NASA are also preparing the flight termination system for the SLS. If something goes wrong with the rocket, say if it goes off course and they need to basically blow up the rocket in the air, if something goes wrong, that's what they're working on over this weekend and they should have it all figured out by hopefully later next week. NASA technicians continue work associated with battery activations as well and they plan to turn on the core stage batteries over the weekend before they're installed on the rocket. And also, the Orion spacecraft, the thing at the very top of the rocket, that's where the people will go as they go around the moon, not on this mission, but on the Artemis II mission. And they've installed a technology demo that will test digital assistance and video collaboration in deep space. Think of it as FaceTime on the way to the moon and back. And the engineers are also conducting power testing on the crew module and the European service module heaters and sensors before the flight of Artemis 1. So there's something you can do and that's subscribe to the channel. You know why? It's because YouTube will show you more things about NASA and Starship and SpaceX and the SLS, the things that you're interested in. So if you hit the subscribe button and the like button, YouTube will know to show you those things. Also commenting helps too. So if you can leave a comment below, even if you leave an emoji of a rocket, that'll be really helpful, not just for me, for my channel. I mean, that definitely helps my channel, but it will help your YouTube experience as well. So thanks everybody. The earth and the moon have to be in the perfect alignment so the NASA SLS rocket can get there shoot the Orion capsule around the moon and come back, but the Orion capsule cannot be in darkness for more than 90 minutes because the solar array wings need to convert the sunlight to electricity to keep this thing going. And when the capsule comes back, they have to do a skip entry, which is a technique where they maneuver the spacecraft into the upper part of Earth's atmosphere and use the atmosphere along with the lift of the capsule to slow down and skip back out of the atmosphere so it can re-enter and have a final descent and splash down successfully. And also they need to do this in daytime. So these are things that are important for these launch days that I'm gonna tell you about coming up soon. And we hope that they launch in August of 2022, but there are plenty of launch opportunities after then if they need the time. So we have some launch opportunities and here's the first opportunity. July 26th through August 10th, they have 13 launch opportunities. I don't think they're gonna make this one. August 10th seems pretty close to right now. It's already July 18th. July 26th is pretty close through the 10th. I don't think they're going to do this one. August 23rd through September 6th. They have 12 launch opportunities between those time frames. So August 23rd, possibly we can get an August launch for SLS. Now, September 19th through October 4th, if something kind of does take a little bit longer, this seems like the best launch opportunity for the Orion SLS Artemis 1 mission to get to the moon, do the loop, and come back. There's 15 launch opportunities in that one. October 17th through the 31st, there's 11 launch opportunities. November 12th through the 27th, 12 launch opportunities. December 9th through December 23rd, there's 11 opportunities. So, the Ar Artemis 1 mission. So... The Artemis 1 mission has a lot of opportunity to launch to the lunar orbit, come back down to Earth, skip off the atmosphere, and come back down 
for a splashdown and be a successful mission so they can grab the data from the Artemis 1 mission and use it for the Artemis 2 missions. Now, if you want to help out, please subscribe to the show. Please like this video. And I will be going down to the SLS launch. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching the video today. Appreciate your time. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you soon.